Okay. So we have screws for the case. Kind of weird little bunch. Um, and we have these two pieces. We have these two pieces. Well, everything seems to be falling in place the way it's supposed to. One other thing is, when they assemble this at uh, Apple, they put this and after the computer is assembled. I'm not going to do that. Right. So, what we're going to have to do is try and assemble them. This one will have to be put in. It's actually glued in place. There is some oh sticky tape. Oh yeah. Apple loves the sticky tape. Alright, now we just make sure it is where it's supposed to be. So before this this um, piece, if you if it's facing you, it slides towards the right. Okay, if you don't, I slid it towards the left, and it there are catches under there, so it has to go and catch those catches, whatever. So I didn't pay attention to that, so it looked like that. Now looks like I've paid attention. Just slide it back in place and nice and smooth. And right now, oh, I like when this happens. You look for a piece and it's not there. Well, look on your sleeve, it'll probably be there. Okay, so now. in place. Alright, this looks like it's assembled. Alright, actually it doesn't look too bad. I am quite surprised that it turned out so. Now one thing left to do is to make sure that it actually works. So, I usually don't take it this far, but I have tested this uh, before, so I um, uh, reasonably uh, convinced or I'm 
I can make a reasonable assumption that it works based on the fact that it worked before unless I forget to connect something. So now to reassemble the, connect the rest of the Mac it's best to do it this way. Okay. So you just leave this hanging and put it back together. Oh, come on. All right. They're using these hex things here. All I could say is, if you don't have a patience doing this stuff, don't even start. This will test your patience to its absolute maximum level. Your only question in your head is, why? Why did you do it this way? Why? Uh, especially if you've had experience before working on Dells and Acers and Gateways and Asuses and whatnot, they're not assembled this way. Um, they're assembled normally, you know, under assumption that if it breaks, it's going to return to our factory. Our techs will have to fix it, and we don't want our techs to be mad. Although I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Alright. I mean, wrong about my assumption that they don't want their text to be mad. Not about how the thing is put together. Although, uh, you know, Apple is. Um, ahead of many manufacturers and this is the future people this is the future um, whether we techs like it or not this is how it is going to be for the rest of the manufacturers they're going to look at this they're going to learn and when Apple is not looking they're going to take the Uh, the dare, so to speak, and uh, make their computers because everyone wants to make money. Let's face it, this is the biggest money maker I have ever seen. Alright, All right, let's lay some cables. Tiny connection number one. Tiny connection number two. Tiny connection number three. Okay. All right, so this is assembled. is assembled and this is in place this is in place it's actually put one this way yeah 
like so. All right. So we have some rubber thingies that uh, transmit spikes or whatever up and down. We have our computer assembled. We have our uh, screws and whatnot. We have our back panel. Oh, battery. Let's reconnect the battery. Uh, put the panel back on. Come on, come on. Okay, and there is a special screwdriver for these screws. Right. All right. And this is not hex. This is. Penta or something. It's only five globes to whereas this 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 one is six, this one says five, so they are not compatible. Alright. So the computer turn off the light. Moment of truth. I hear something. I see something. And voila. We have a working computer. I don't believe it. Let's peel this off. This is what I was trying to do when I peeled a little bit of the corner out. If I didn't do that, I'd have to now try and pick it out. Whereas right now, nice and clean. What we're going to do is we are going to attach this to the old one. And this over here. Um, I like to save these panel pieces, and the reason I save them is um, it lets me know where connections are, true dimension, um, model numbers. There's quite a bit of information on this seemingly useless piece of um, uh, part. So hopefully this was educational. Here is a, a new panel. Let's see if we can make it brighter. That's keys. Full brightness. Um, no flaws. Perfect matrix. Um, quite happy with the work. Uh, took about an hour. So hopefully, I'm, um, this is going to show somebody and help somebody. Thank you for watching.